Alright, I want to start by giving him at least a better bazooka. Because I feel like that just kind of makes sense, but at the same time, 20 damage doesn't seem like it's all that much. I'm torn because part of me is like, don't upgrade some of this stuff, but at the same time it's like, do. So we'll grab this. And I also wanted to get Luigi a better rifle, because he's still got like, the base. So I'm thinking we'll give him this one, because this is the, you know, strongest with ink, and then having the additional that seems nice too. So that's at least everybody's got a good primary, it's just their secondaries that might need to be adjusted. And then we've got enough for this one, which is what I wanted, so he can do two shots during Hero Sight instead of just one. I think I'd rather go right now for percentage healed. I think that sounds good to me. And then with Luigi, I think I want to go... Firstly, I want to get him the Cleansing Jump. Because I know we're going to have some spare. And then I'm thinking whether or not we want to do... It says dash damage or dash plus, which is the amount it takes. I'd rather do the damage first, honestly. Alright, that's it as far as upgrades. I'm going to save Luigi so he can get a double hero sight as well. Because I just think that's good. If I'm honest, Beepo's voice is weird. Like, I custom built that one. But, like, I don't know. Hearing it, at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of grown on me in the same way of, like, a virus. Where it's like, do I think it's great? Not really, but I'm kind of used to it, so... I could have done worse. Push that down. Push that block. Push that up. Push that block. Push that block again. That was baby puzzle. But now, you know how to do things. That's still not enough. If it was 10, that would have been just enough to get Luigi's uh, extra hero shot. So. Bummer. One thing I do really like about this game is like stuff like this in the background, and you can see in Ancient Gardens too, is it's so musically designed to where everything's like animate and kind of bouncing along with the music that goes on and I just I love stuff like that it's kind of like I would say new Super Mario Brothers not entirely but like you could draw parallels into that where you know interactions with the music is very vital in this case it's not so much from a gameplay perspective as it is just an aesthetic one but I still do like that as like just a background choice that makes things feel a bit more not alive, but like, energetic, I guess? Visually appealing? Alright, so let me see if we can grab this stuff first. Grab coin. No! Grab coin. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I was worried that they were going to be somewhere completely off the trail, but no. So I just worry about getting weapons, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to get one, and then two seconds later I'm going to get something better. But, realistically, I think the only major upgrades you're ever going to get are going to be something like boss fights. 
I'm trying to think on what the end goal I'm trying to do is. That's why I'm not touching it. So I could start pushing it around, but it's like, okay, but what is, what's my goal? What am I doing with it? What about this way? What's going on over here? You know? Is this the way to go? Is this the side path? I think, honestly, that is the way to go, so I'll start playing with the ball. Move. And I do feel like that sometimes push with certain puzzles, like especially this, makes it a little bit frustrating because of how precise you need to be, and sometimes you might hit it from the wrong angle. And then have to restart everything, and it ends up more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, this was a breeze. It wasn't a problem at all. That's an arrow going that way, though. Now I don't know what to believe! Fine, I'm going this way. Playing games with my heart, man. There's so much stuff! Yeah, and you notice how uh, upon each area the enemies change to reflect that environment. I'm trying to think on how many games do something like that, and I'm not going to say it's this is unique, because I know it's definitely not. I just can't think of anything where it's like it absolutely does, mate. Because it's not even like Paper Mario, because it's like something like that, they just give you all new enemies altogether. Oh, I see you, Blue Cannon, and I'll play with you in just a second. I just... See, this is where I think where... I think we might have already... Yeah, because see, that's, just, that's already been open. So we're crossing... This looks like the intro? Yeah. Yeah, see, this is where we started. But now we're going a different way. Across it. Non-linear. And you see how now they're introducing stuff like this, which, admittedly, can be very frustrating when you're trying to do it, and you can't get the precision because it's just, honestly, not the most responsive. So, like, that's where it gets very annoying. I lucked out, though. I didn't do bad here. But you'll definitely be hearing me shout at it later. Um... What are we talking about? I know we're at the intro. We're on about that. Music. I don't know. <laughs> That's it! I'm lost! I got nothing. I can't think anymore. Whatever tangent I was on, it's gone. Oh, I don't know. Enemies. That was it. Poor fella. Once he soared freely overhead, spreading fear throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Just look at him now. Tangled in a gaudy, rabid undergarments. Oh, what cruel fate. We must restore Mushroom Kingdom to its original state. Bonsai builds freedom and dignity depends on it. It's a race. Um, if it's a race, I don't have a choice. I can't back out, can I? Can I switch and grab Luigi? Yeah. Alright, apparently I can. Because Luigi, I've, I've been saying, I said it at the beginning, and I was very wrong, that um, Luigi's got the most distance and flexibility with movement out of anybody. I don't know if I... I won't use it, who cares. They're all on the same le level, so... Gotta look ahead just a little bit. Alright, so I like to go from the exit and work backwards so I can see... the correct way to go. Alright, well that doesn't matter. So we'd have to go... Through that pipe. That pipe. So we're hanging left, basically. We go straight, we hang left. 
and then we go around and that'll take us straight to it. Stop doing that. Uh, what happened to the tackle? Did I accidentally hit the B button and cancel the tackle? Because if so, disagreement. We will talk after class. Uh, we'll put you here. I don't want to antagonize him. Put him right here, it should be okay. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and use his speed thing now, is just so this way, because I know once we spread out far enough, it's not going to matter. He's not going to reach us as long as we don't attack him, so I'm not fucking with him. See, like, that's it. If we shot at him, he'd do something. So, screw it. We'll go ahead and hit him just to be a dingleberry. Yeah, I, I guess, if we're not a liability for anything. Same deal, hit him just for fun. Mario can go a little bit further. Why does everybody hate me? Why are you eating that? Oh, we need to team jump this. Because <laughs> we can't fucking reach it! Whatever, it's alright. That's good enough. Should be good. It only showed the one dude last time, so. Smasher's not a threat. He's a little bit of one, but we can outrun him. So now... She can't reach. So we'll just throw her over. And then Mario can actually go through the pipe. I guess we'll just put him over here. And then Lugi can get up high. No problemo, same problemos. Um, but what I was saying about the enemies, though, was I think the most unique example and my favorite personal use of enemy costumes is easily the Donkey Kong Country games, where the, each game, they have a thematic on how they dress, and it just, I think it's great. I love that. That's personally my absolute favorite, as I love how each of them are so different and unique. Now, was what I was trying to think, I was like, what game does something like this? And I, you know, I know for a fact, this isn't one of a kind. There's, I refuse to believe it possibly could be. Like, it's too basic of an idea for it to just be something that they thought up after fucking 30 years of gaming revolution, you know? So, that's why I'm scratching my brain here, but someone will point it out, or I'll think of it myself later. One of the two. I could have turned hero side on, I suppose. I'm just not even concerned. Luigi's basically got it. It'll be alright. Luigi's about to take a... Well, here. Oh, because I... Honestly, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this turn to go ahead and just heal up before it was too late. But the thing is, it's like, if I... Use the shield to save Luigi from taking a couple shots... See, it's not gonna matter. She's the only one who's gonna benefit from it, but I guess... She's the one who needs it most, so whatever. Just do it. 
I'm just think about Luigi's health, that's all. See? He's get busy getting blasted. Luigi running into bullets. I was five. Oh, well, there you go. It doesn't even matter. Is that like one level? Undergarment Gulch. What a name. Alright, well, we definitely have enough for Luigi's um, thing now, so let's go ahead and turn that on. Wrong! So now he can shoot twice, and ideally I'd like it if he could shoot three times and then get the cooldown. We'll go ahead and put this percentage on here for um, Vampire Luigi. Uh, excuse me, Vampire Luigi, that's his name now. <laughs> 